Hello everyone, this is Dreaming Sheep and welcome to my first ever Let's Play series. Uh, as you can see, I am playing modded Minecraft. This is not vanilla. Um, it is a custom mod pack put together by myself um, in the hope of kind of having a fairly vanilla experience. Um, but it will be different. There's, uh, there's a few things that I used to have on a server I played on that I've copied into here and improved and we'll see how that goes. Uh, first things first, I am creating a new world. Uh, nice and creative name there. Let's play world. I am putting it in creative mode because things are bound to break. Uh, it's modded Minecraft. Things break a lot. So instead of having to open to LAN every time, um, this, this will just allow me easier access to do what I want. Um, the mod pack name is Sheep's Nelly Vanilla Experience. Uh, it's not available to public just yet. There's a mod I'm waiting for to go public. Um, I'm sort of running on a, a dev version at the moment. It has been dev for a few months now. So hopefully it'll be released and then I can upload this. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, today is really just going to be collecting a couple of resources. If I've got my seed correct, I should be on an island as well. Anytime soon. Uh, if we are, the, the goal over the Let's Play will probably be an island based, like a floating island game. Oh, I really did not want a floating island up there. But, oh well, as you can see up in JEI in the, oh, in the corner up there. Um, I've had a few worlds already. Uh, you did see them labeled earlier. One of them is just for my daughter to play around with. Uh, she's currently trying to get into Minecraft. So I let her play every now and again. Oh, uh, I need to go into game mode zero. Let's start this off correctly. I don't really want these. So let's go punch some wood. I will probably try and go and find land. I don't really want to destroy this island because this is the one I will move up into the sky. Uh, we also need to change an auto jump, the uh, bane of my existence and many others. So let's get some wood. Um, I'll go find a mainland and I need to get some items because I don't actually really want to quarry in this world. So while I'm doing this, I'll just go over some of the mods that are in the pack. Uh, starting with, well, you can obviously see quick leaf decay is enabled. Um, but otherwise we have Dank Nell, uh, which is a mod that gives you a few items so you can collect items, but any excess items that you collect in your inventory are just voided. So they don't clutter up your inventory while you're out mining, which can be quite useful. Uh, obviously the clutter being a bad thing, but no clutter being great. Um, I do have Angel Ring to Bauble. Um, and I think I have, yep, yay! I have all, or Excavator enabled, but uh, Angel Ring to Bauble. So what that will allow me to do is craft, well, I can't really craft, I'll get back to that in a second. Um, but I'll be able to use Extra Utilities 2's uh, Angel Rings in my bauble slots instead of in my inventory. Um, now, I did say I won't be able to craft it. Um, I will explain that just after I get rid of this wood. So yes, uh, Angel Rings, they can't actually be crafted. Uh, so if I just look up Angel Ring. You see, they all exist. Uh, there's no Extra Utilities 2 ones available. Uh, those recipes have been disabled. But to get an Angel Ring, uh, there's two ways. One is to already have one. And two is to actually kill a custom End Dragon. Um, so when we get there, uh, it's going to be a few episodes away, I, I suspect. Uh, there is actually a structure in the end that's already in there for every world you generate. Um, and it has a little lever in there that allows you to toggle between a normal end dragon and the elite ender dragon. And only the elite one will actually drop a angel ring and it's a 100% drop. So it's quite handy. Uh, next on the list is Armistan Configurator, uh, which sounds awesome to me. And that's not how you make a crafting table. There we go. Um, well, all that allows you to do is take a armor stand and instead of just having like the default one, I believe you can right click on it. And then once you've right clicked on it, it gives you a big custom like uh, GUI, GUI, depending on your preference. Um, 
which will allow you to change the way the armor stand looks. Um, at the corner of my eye, I have seen that there is a monument down there. So no guesses for what's going to happen with that at some point. Next on the list, uh, backpacks. Oh, actually, uh, Aroma's Dimensional World. That is in the pack as well. Now, that's only really in there for a quarrying age uh, slash dimension because I don't really want to rip this world apart. Oh, there's something else up there. I believe that's roguelike. No, that's a tree. Well done. So, yeah, uh, Aroma's Dimensional World. Backpacks is in the pack. Um, I went with backpacks over iron backpacks, partly, I think, because of a availability, but also there's a few extra features in it that I really like. Um, so I'm going to stick with it. Thank you, Mr. Boat. So next on the list, uh, daily uh, Bailey's dailies. I've never actually played with a mod. Um, what I understand it does. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Let me try and make a pickaxe first and go and get some wood. Uh, as you can see, fantastic at crafting. I, I managed to completely mess it up very often. And I just want to see if there's a gap going down so I don't have to dig completely. Uh, you may have noticed at the corner there, there's actually a Pam's Harvest Craft, Pam's Harvest Craft plant down there, as well as uh, different skinned animals, uh, chickens. Uh, I'm not finding anything very quickly, so other than losing my crafting table already, this is going well. Oh, I, my mapping is terrible. That's the journey map in the corner. So, uh, Bailey's Dailies. I'm getting sidetracked already, and we're only five minutes in. Bailey's Dailies is a mod that has a sort of custom villager in it, um, which will give you sort of daily tasks to complete. Um, I've never played with it. I need to figure it out. One of the things we have done is spawn eggs. Uh, there are recipes for most spawn eggs. Not the easiest thing in the world, but not the worst. And we do have a Bailey's Daily recipe right there. Um, so I think it's like four nether stars in total, the village highlighter, which is an emerald, and a, a villager, um, which is nine more emeralds and a golden apple. So not easy, not difficult. It's going to take a bit of time to get to those, but we'll get there. Um, next on the list, uh, baubles. You've, I've obviously mentioned already, uh, for those that are uninitiated with modding, um, a bauble slot is right there. So you get a bunch of accessories you can put into, your, into these slots instead. Uh, a lot of them are cosmetic. I don't think there's really many baubles in this pack. Uh, at most, I might use two of them. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, bed bugs is in here. Um, I don't think anyone really needs to use it, but it's more for multiplayer servers. I want to put that there and that there. Um, in case you get stuck in your bed, it gives you an option to, I can't remember if it's leave the server or leave the bed. But instead of being stuck in the bed for eternity and crashing your game out, uh, it gives you a couple of options. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going down. Did I get enough? I did not. I was going to see if I can get a wood uh, stone pickaxe. Right, next is better advancements. Um, as you can see that over here, there's an advancements tab. Uh, not that it seems to be working, which is interesting. But it should give you a bunch of extra advancements. Uh, it changes all of this. There should be tabs for it, unless I haven't unlocked it yet. Mine stones, I've done that. Construct, so I need to construct a... Let's see if that's going to help with anything. Advancement, nope, still no advancements. Right, well, it, um, it expands on it. It's a lot like it, um, better achievements back in the day. I think it's the same people that have developed it. Um, so hopefully that will be quite good to use. Next one, this better builders ones. Ah, oh, for those that have never used builders ones, I feel so sorry for you. Uh, they are basically just a bunch of ones that do different tasks. Uh, if I just bring this up, um, better builders ones. Okay, it is just the builders ones. Uh, there is another wand mod in the pack, 
um, but it allows you to put down a row of blocks on top of existing blocks that you have placed, uh, as long as they're the same type and you have them in your inventory. So, uh, next on there, there's quite a big list of just random stuff. Bibliocraft is in the pack. Uh, I can see this being a little bit controversial for vanilla, um, but it gives like bookshelves you can store your books in, which for me is quite a useful thing to have. Um, oh, there's my iron that I need. Um, it also gives you extra options for like enchanting, disenchanting, um, making enchanted books as well, or duplicating them, which could seem very un vanilla -y, but definitely something I sort of want. I want the bookshelves more than anything. Uh, next up, block armor. I've never really used the mod, um, and it does add a lot to the game. If we bring this up, it's basically armor for like every block in the game. And some of them have sort of extra features. Um, let's see if I can find one that I know does. There we go. So the encased castle brick towel. Wow. Uh, will give you a health boost um, and make you immovable, which I think is uh, like a knockback resistance. But you have to have, I think it's two of the armor pieces on you for the effect to actually work. So next, um, wow, block craftery. I believe block craft is, yep, yeah, it's basically the old carpenter's blocks if anyone played with those. So it gives you like angles. Um, you can have slants, corners, slabs for pretty much any type of wood you want. And what you do is you place these down and then you just place a block over it to change the effective skin of it. Uh, next on the list, chest transporter. Uh, sounds pretty simple, is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's a item you can craft and allows you to pick up chests and move them. Um, anyone that has played with me in the past in a sort of community I was part of will probably know that this is going to start with a lot of chests in a lot of random places instead of a good solid build. Um, so you know, being able to move them later without emptying them first, it uh, seems like a really good thing to have for me. All right, I'm trying not to cheat and go to that little valley ravine down there, although it is tempting. I need some coal. Next on the list, uh, chicken chunks. Uh, chunk loading. Uh, if I ever put this on a server, I am currently playing on single player, as you saw. Um, it's sort of nice to have anyone that might play this pack in the future. Uh, it at least gives you the option to chunk load whatever sections you want. I'm pretty sure I've changed the configs already so that you can only load about five chunks at a, no, 25 chunks at a time, so a five by five area. Um, I just find if you do a bit more than that, it gets a little bit excessive. Right, uh, chisel is next. Fantastic mod, and my pickaxe is going to break soon. Um, chisel just gives you a huge list of different items you can have at Chisel. Um, it's like variants of different stone or oh, different blocks. I'm really surprised aluminium's first. Aluminium, aluminium. Uh, for example, cobblestone. Instead of just having vanilla cobblestone, you can actually have a whole different variety of them. Great for building, which I am terrible at. Uh, it's another sort of thing I want to get out of this. Let's play is improving my building skills. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we also have chisel and bits. Uh, a lot of people might think it's a bit silly having uh, that and something else that's in the pack. Um, but what that will do is it allows you to actually just manipulate blocks in a, I think it's a 16 by 16 grid. So you could remove like just one plane from here or put a hole in the middle of a block and change how it works. Um, really great stuff you can create with that later in the game. Um, I tend to use it for like hidden blocks as well. So just something completely transparent so I don't fall into some sort of like uh, cobble gen that I might create. So I just need to make another pickaxe quickly. I'll probably just trash that one later on. I feel really surprised I've had no mobs yet. I haven't even heard any. Um, I am going to play on easy just because I want this to be fun, not so much as a challenge, but just to, you know, something to spend some time on. So I'm just going to double check that we are on easy. We are now, if we won't. Drop that 
down. Right, uh, next up, client tweaks. Um, a good friend of mine doesn't really like client tweaks. It just changes a few little aspects about the gameplay. Um, things like, ooh, interesting. That shouldn't be up there. Um, I, think, I can't remember if this is client tweaks or crafting tweaks. Uh, I think this is crafting tweaks. Uh, client tweaks changes things like having a master volume slider. Um, I think that's that one. I can't actually remember everything it does. It's been a little while since I used it, but it's a mod that I feel I can't really live without anymore, even though I don't know what it does. So yes, uh, that I do have a connected textures mod. Um, I'm kind of not sold on it. I'm going to go back up to the surface because I've got most of what I came down here for. Um, but when I get up there, I'll show you why I'm not a big fan. Um, I can't really show you exactly why, because I would need a nether portal to show you the biggest problem I have with it. And I don't think that's going to happen in this episode. Uh, next is cooking for blockheads. Uh, again, something I really feel should almost be in vanilla. Right, let's just double check. There is a mob there. Oh. Uh, I have swing through grass on as well while we're mentioning that uh, which just basically means if there's a mob behind what the grass you shoot like swinging at it'll hit the mob instead of breaking the grass great for pvp or pve um, but yes the connected textures mod you can see down here um, the sand looks really different where you've got like this sort of brown edge to it and i'm not really sold on it myself um just to show you if i put this down here see how that changes here we go and it changed i'm not sure about it um we'll see how it goes it's more for glass than anything else if you ask me oh, hey mr zombie and googly eyes that's a quick and easy one to explain Um, I just want some gravel while I'm here. I do need a flint before I go back to my house. Oh, there we go. Yay. And I'll try and grab some food. So yeah, connected textures, cooking for blockheads. Um, it's a few blocks and books that just make like crafting food types easier, which is essential for something like Pam's Harvest Craft. Um, just because there's so many types of things you can craft. Uh, if you're wondering about the black weirdness there, that is the morph mod as well. I uh, will get back to that in a minute. Um, Cosmetic Armor Reworked is in the pack. It is a fantastic mod. So what you can do is craft your normal armor and you can place different types of armor here and change the look of it. Or you can just completely hide that you're wearing armor, which awesome in my opinion. Again, if you're in a PvP server, you could probably trick other players into not really knowing what you have and take advantage of it that way. Did I eat gunpowder? Yes. I'm going to kill this creeper quick. Or kill myself. Yeah, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. Creeper explosions are disabled. Nice. Um, Quark is in the pack. As we're going past, you'll notice that there is a... There he is. A guardian in the water. Um, yeah, they spawn pretty much anywhere now. That looks like my island down there. Next on the list, uh, crafting tweaks. That is in there for... That is the crafting table. It allows you to rotate things. You know when you put like the wrong crafting recipe in, like you do the corners instead of the sides? Like, yeah, it allows you to change it really quickly without too much effort. Uh, cust uh, craft tweak is in here. That's what allows me to do the spawn eggs and a few other things like disabling the um, angel rings, for example. So let's grab that. Right, I'm just going to kill this zombie. Next on the list would be making a furnace so that I can actually cook up some thingy my bobbies. That's it, some stone. What did I just pick up? Oh, strawberry. I thought it was another apple. Right, that's the lava down there, okay. So I'm just going to quickly start cooking up some stone. I feel like I need to, but I couldn't tell you why. Um, yeah, why not? There we go. I will need some more food than what I've got. What I've got strawberries, spice, that's quite handy. 
and wheat. Okay, and just make a hoe quickly. And then we'll get back to the list of items that I'm just ignoring. Uh, I can't remember what adds it, but yay! Four crafting, or four tables. Ugh, I can't even think. Four chests from one crafting thing. So you don't have to make planks first. It's so much better. I can't believe, I don't know why that's not a normal thing. Um, so, modded items in here. Oh, that's a choke. Nice. Uh, not modded in there. Why not? Actually, I'm going to put blocks in here instead. I'm going to need to cook up some iron, so that will be next on the list. Let's just get eight, why not? Uh, you'll find I'm pretty useless sometimes when it comes to like my inventory management, and modded is even worse for that. Like every few minutes, you're gonna have a full inventory. But that's okay, we can live with it. Right, next on our list is custom main menu. I haven't done anything with that yet. Uh, so keep an eye out. There's a very good chance the uh, main menu will change. And I'm so glad I just got an onion. Because that with the spice leaf, I'm pretty sure makes a really good item. I think it's the vegetable medley. Uh, oh, stock. Okay, that's fair enough. Lettuce. Sorry, for the random here we go so if i get a carrot and i was one other thing can get me the root vegetable medley and it makes a fantastic um food source oh no i have spice of life installed okay so i'm gonna have to eat a whole bunch of random stuff right i didn't make that hoe in the end well done me let's just do that quick and then there we go. Yeah, so hoeing the ground with a pickaxe doesn't work, apparently. You know, who knew Minecraft, right? Um, let's place that anyway. I'm going to go get... Oh, let's break you so we can just extend this a couple of blocks. Sorry for the momentary like blankness. I'm concentrating. Something I don't normally have to do. And I wanted one more uh, dirt block. Okay, let's just hoe these quickly. And there we go. Okay, so I have some food growing. That's awesome. Um, next on the list is we've gone through custom dark utilities. Uh, dark utilities is in the pack, but there's actually been a lot of things removed from it. Um, Think, yeah, so it used to have vector plates as well. I've basically just kept the law tags, um, the experience monolith, monolith the anti-slime block, slime blocks in general. And this is what I really wanted is this sneaky blocks. Um, they're kind of like camouflageable blocks. So you can place a block down and then right click on it and make it into something else. So for example, a torch, you could just turn into grass or a lever. Uh, you could just hide as like a, a stone block on a wall, which is really, really nice uh, later on in the game. Can be very useful for, again, PvP type servers, where that's far more useful. Right, I'm just going to make another furnace because this is going like ridiculously slow. Uh, talking of which, I do have more furnaces, I think it is called. Uh, again, a new mod for myself, but it makes upgradable furnaces. Next on the list, uh, Diet Hoppers. Thank you so much, RW Tema. Um, all that Diet Hoppers does is change the hitbox for a hopper. Uh, for those that have no idea what I'm on about, I'm really sorry for everyone else. The ability to right click past your hopper, fantastic stuff. Um, next on the list is Ender Storage. Um, it's basically like Ender Chests the original way. So before Minecraft had them, um, I'm just going to make my aroma core thingy. I'm going to need a flint and steel, so I need flint. Sorry, I'm still trying to get to the aroma dimension, so I don't like absolutely ruin this one. And now I don't have enough. Thank you. So yes, um, ender chests that you can customize the color of, um, and you can have channels and a whole bunch of other things. It's really, really, really useful. And I'm glad I have the ability to have it. Did I? No, I need 
one of those. That should give me that. Oop, because you took the wrong pickaxe. There we go, mining world. Anyway, I'm going to move on. I'm running out of time already. Sorry for the clap. Um, environmental tech is in here. It's actually in here more for an update later on. I want the nano beacon, which is basically like a powered beacon that will work anywhere in the world, um, as long as it's loaded. That's chicken junks as well. A really handy thing to have. Uh, extra utilities is in the mod, in the mod pack in the mad pack. Um, why is it only doing one at a time? That's going to be very very un unuseful, useless. Yeah, interesting. Somebody put down an interesting word in the comments. Um, but yeah, uh, extra utilities, I think, is what I was saying. Or was I on envi No, environmental tech. Oh, I've lost myself completely. Extra utilities is in the pack again. Um, lots of changes made to it. So things are not available that are normally available. The only sort of um, GP generators you've got are the watermill and the dragon egg. And they're not the easiest things to craft. Oh, that should not exist. I'll have to remove that. Whoopsie doops. Uh, it should be this one. So you've got to kill the Elite Dragon three times just to be able to get the creative flight. Um, I didn't want it to be an easy thing. Uh, and then your Dragon Mill is difficult as well. So you need the Dragon Eggs, which you'll probably already have when you have the Water Mill. But, you know, uh, the normal rings are available, but the Chicken Wing is obviously a ring. Oh, it is Chicken Wing ring. is a little bit harder than normal. Um... I'm not going to give away that secret for anyone that doesn't know it just yet. I think all the other blocks are pretty much the same. Um, ethereal glass, fantastic stuff. Oh, that's really cheap to make. Nice. They changed the menu. Menu, recipe. Uh, okay, fast leaf decay. We've been over googly eyes. We've been over hopper ducks. Uh, so hopper ducks are kind of like a cabling system for hoppers. So it allows you to uh, move a hopper up. It sounds wrong saying that. Um, so I'm just making my way to the aroma dimension. It is basically the same as building a original nether portal. Uh, so not the new ones where you can just change the shapes. But you build your portal, right click on it, and you can go in. Uh, you do have to sneak once you get in, uh, which you have to actually stand in and not fall out of. Let me just see if I can get some quick food. No, I can't. I'm going to eat the strawberry. I could kill a pig. I really don't want to kill the pigs. Let me have a look and see what other animals I have while I am having a hunt around through the rest of the mods. Okay, I've got a bunch of pigs, so pigs it is, unfortunately. I'll swing through grass is working really well there. Anyway, uh, next on the list is... Oh, we kind of did hopper ducks. You can go up, down, left, right. They only have a single inventory and they're a little bit slower than regular hoppers. So they work, but they're not amazing. But it does mean nothing like complicated to try and build a system for moving items around. Right. Um, there's a lot of things. Infinity and mending on nerf. Uh, some people might not like this one, but it basically just allows you to have infinity and mending on the same um, sort of, I want to say device, but device is the wrong word, the same bow and arrow. There we go. I knew it's somewhere in my brain. Um, initial inventory. I forgot that was even in here. It allows me to give you some inventory items to start your game. Um, inventory tweaks is... It sort of allows you to, I think that's what allows JEI to work, unless it just works on its own now. Um, but that's what allows me to just like scroll items up and down instead of having to shift and click on them all the time. I'm going to go and plant these seeds. Oh, no. That's not a sword. Uh, I suck at creepers, as you will notice. I hate creepers since the combat update that happened a few versions ago. Right, um, iron chest is in the game. This allows you to just upgrade your chest. So you can have, I think an iron chest is a roughly a double chest worth, but it takes up one spot instead. And then there's upgrades for gold, I think copper and silver, but I don't believe I have copper and silver enabled in the game and diamond and a couple of others above that, that just change the way the chest work, but 
the aesthetics more than anything, but not the storage. Uh, we have item scroller. You've definitely seen me do that, so that might not be infantry treats. It's one or the other, but it just allows me to scroll items one at a time. Like I can get one or two sticks. Um, most people know what this is. Uh, journey map, you've noticed in the top corner. I will probably change that between episodes because I like a smaller map. I don't like it as invasive. Uh, just enough items is this thing here. Yeah. Uh, shows me pretty much anything that's in the game if I ever want to look it up, which is mostly apparently block armor and chisel blocks. So yes. Uh, clay slabs is in the game. Uh, I've just used all of my cobble, so I can't really demonstrate it. Let's try and see if I can do it with diorite. Thank you, Quark. But basically, if this works correctly, it'll break one slab instead of like both when you have a like a double block worth. Uh, it does work with vanilla items as well. I uh, can see if I can yay drop that back. Diorite for the win. Light level. Overlay is totally the wrong button. There we go. Um, it'll show you what the light level is in each place. So you can see if mobs will spawn or not. Very handy instead of using your F3 screen to do that. Uh, mantle is in here. Sorry, that's actually part of Tinker's construct. So I probably don't need to tell you. Um, MC multipart is in the game. This is the one that seems really odd for some people when you've got chisel installed. But if I remember correctly, I actually forgot to test this before going live. But it allows you to do something insane in Minecraft, which is... Oh no! They took it away. You used to be able to put like um, a torch on both sides. Uh, obviously, that's no longer the case. That sucks, and it might be removed. Right. Uh, Reauth is in the pack. Uh, it's more for multiplayer servers. So if you have your game open for a long time, like sometimes I do, you can just reauthorize instead of restarting. We're now getting very long in the episode. And I apologize for the boredom. If there is any, hopefully there's not. Um, I'm losing my way completely. I'm just going to go through here. Actually, I'm going to make a sword. I have nothing to really make a sword with. I'm make an iron sword. There we go. Yay! Um, next in the pack is... Wow, I've lost where we were. Where were we? MC Multipart. So more furnaces I've spoken about as earlier on. Uh, you can see it just adds different furnace types. I believe it's more for like speed and efficiency than anything. Not a mod I've ever played with. Uh, morph is in the pack, so you can morph into other animals. Oh. There we go. Now I can run around like a pig. Yay! Oh, with googly eyes. Right, let's go back to me. Uh, Morpheus for multiplayer. I love how googly eyes don't actually fit on my face. Thank you so much. Uh, Morpheus is in there for multiplayer so that you can have a sleep vote system instead of having to get everyone on a server to sleep, uh, which I'm not really a big fan of, the everyone sleep method. Right, next, uh, No Nausea is on the is in the pack. Um, very cheaty. You can see JEI's changed. I don't know which button changed that, so we'll have to figure that one out in a bit. Um, but No Nausea just means your screen doesn't go blurry, so it's a bit easier. You still get all the other effects that I can't think of right now. Uh, not enough wands. This is the one I was talking about earlier. Not enough wands. Um, gives you a bunch of different wands that do different things that you can... Uh, create potions or cast potions I guess capture mobs illuminate areas um, displacement is awesome it's kind of like having a remote piston move things backwards and forwards bunch of other things teleport oh yeah, movement there's a teleporting one there it is uh, open blocks is in uh, I think I edited a few things out of the pack not a whole lot of them uh, I really wanted the elevators because I don't like the colors of the elevator mod blocks which i didn't even mention as in i don't think but it is unless i removed it ah i removed it never mind okay right oh no it's still there open blocks elevator they've just renamed it so yes enjoy uh elevators for those that don't know basically allow you to just place a block down on the ground place one further up in the sky and then you just jump or shift between the two Right. 
going into the aroma world there's gonna be a little bit of lag here so while we wait or excavator I've covered um, that's what allowed me to just cut down an entire tree like so there we go although there's now problems oh well I'll get back to those uh, between episodes uh, Pam Tarvis craft I've covered plus tick is a add-on for Tinker's construct um, please tell me this is a nice ravine. Yes, it is. Thank you. I really need some food. Um, portal gun is in the pack. Uh, one of the things about portal gun, though, is I have disabled the advanced rendering because it made a lot of lag issues. Um, even on my PC, which is a little bit of a beast. It's not a beast, but, you know, it's pretty much. Um... Quark is in the pack. It just makes a lot of changes to sort of vanilla Minecraft, really. Uh, changes the color grass, gives you some slab options, uh, the amount of items in a stack. A whole bunch of random things. Go have a look. Uh, it's a really nice little mod to have. Um, RF Tools is in. Uh, again, massively edited. Uh, RF Tools, you can see there's a lot of things missing. The dimensions are still there, just mostly because later in the game, I'll probably want to make some sort of dimension, whether that's because 1.13 will come out or 1.13, depending on what you want to call it. Um, and that will allow me to create a whole new world without like, deleting everything I already have. Uh, Roguelike Dungeons is in the game. This allows me, well, it just adds dungeons, really. Uh, what more would you want? Clay ore. Ooh, interesting. This is new. It drops clay. Okay, less interesting than I expected. Um, I thought I had cobble. Yeah, um, so roguelike dungeons uh, creates extra structures to explore. Yeah, you can't really complain with that, can you? Uh, stacky is in, which I think just stacks items on the ground. If they drop kind of separated a little bit closer than that, they'll pile into one stack instead of having loads and loads of stacks everywhere. Uh, no more recipe conflict. Let's see. I don't have any. Oh, I left my crafting table behind. Well done, sheep. So if I drop this on the ground and we craft something. Oh, it did earlier. Maybe it's only for oak. Um, it gave, it, if there's more than one recipe, it'll give you a little um, couple of options to change so you can select the recipe you really wanted. Really trying to get through things, things, through things quickly. Storage drawers is in the pack. Oh my, totally something that should be in vanilla. Um, it's basically just a block that will only store one item that you put in there but by default holds 32 stacks of that item and then you can add upgrades and downgrades um, to increase how much they they store so you're looking at a couple of hundred stacks inside a single block um, so much more useful than just a chest that's overflowing i have specifically avoided um, most sort of mods that add storage systems um, just because they didn't feel that vanilla but i thought at least this is like kind of a weird version of a chest Right, spice of life. Uh, that just basically means I have to eat different types of food. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna like it. I've never liked it in other mod, mod packs. Uh, Twilight Forest is in the pack. Hooray! Um, it will add another dimension to explore, um, as well as some new challenges. The advancement system through there is pretty spectacular. Ooh, sticky ore. Let me, there, very nice. That's an easy way to get some slime balls. I like it. Anyway, uh, Tinker's Construct, for those that have never used it, is like an ore doubling method using a smeltery that you have to build and gives you a whole bunch of extra tools you can make. And there's a way down. Thank you. A whole bunch of tools you can make with different traits that make them better or worse. And uh, I, I'm sure we'll get into that one in the next episode or two anyway. It's going to be something I will, I will work towards pretty quickly. Is that normal? That's oh, limestone. Um, too many graves, so if I die, it will create a grave. I felt a bit whether, like, unsure whether I should add that, but then I know people like Dragnoz has, have made, like, command block systems that make that work in vanilla, so I don't mind too much. It doesn't feel as cheaty that way. Um, let's make a iron pick. Why not? We have some iron in front of me. Um, Whaler Harvestability awesome mod uh, you can see in the middle of my screen this currently harvestable thing uh, if i 
take a pickaxe, it says no, I'm oh, not a pickaxe, a normal axe, and a pickaxe says yes. So I know whether I can break something or not, not really essential, but we'll see. I think that is really useful for like plants and anything you grow, because it'll tell you when it's fully matured. And we should be able to right click on them, so we'll try that out later. Um, Waystones is in the pack. I've never used Waystones, so I'm going to have to learn how that works. But it's basically just um, sort of making uh, places you can teleport back and f back and forth from. Wow, that was not nice to say. Um, but it'll save having to like travel a thousand blocks to get from one place to another if I really don't want to. Uh, wireless charger is in here. Can't remember why. I'm just going to skip over that. World Primer, that is the mod that is stopping this pack from going public at the moment. I'm really sorry, uh, Masa, Mesa, I'm not sure how to pronounce your username. Um, fantastic mod, basically the second time you enter the end dimension on any world, it'll create a whole bunch of stuff for me that I've coded in myself. Kind of coded? Uh, I've made structure blocks for that and the mod will place those structure blocks for me. Um, there is also world edit, uh, I don't think I'm going to use it, that's also why I avoided a wooden pickaxe earlier, um, just to make sense of that. So yeah, that is pretty much the entire pack, there's a few mods I've left out, uh, or haven't mentioned just because they don't really do a lot, they're more like um, APIs and libraries that have to be there for other mods, like Mantle, that I kind of glanced over. So yeah, uh, I'm going to do a whole load of mining off camera. Um, hopefully the next episode will be out in about a week. I'm going to aim at every Monday. Um, hopefully get a bit more interesting and learning how to actually do the whole playing and talking thing. It's not something I'm really used to. Or well, talking to myself at least. So yeah, uh, I'll do some mining, a whole bunch of farming just to get some food for myself. Uh, just with those items I already have. And I think tomorrow will be a build a smeltery, build a food farm episode. Well, not tomorrow, next week. So I hope this episode hasn't been too rough to watch and uh, we'll keep them a little bit shorter next time. So until then, uh, take care of yourselves and I will catch you later. Bye.